Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So we all know that OnePlus 7 and 7T series won't be getting any other major Android upgrade. The last Android upgrade for them will be Android 12 aka Oxygen OS 12. So we have started testing custom rooms for these phones and today in this video we have installed CR Droid which is based on Android 13 and CR Droid version is 9.0. We'll talk about the stability part, what all things are working, what all bugs we get to see here on this build and other things. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 7 Pro on which I have installed CR Droid version 9.0 which is based on Android 13. If you talk about the software information here you can see Android version is Android 13, CR Droid version is 9.0. This comes with 5th October 2022 security patch. And guys before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so whenever we try to install any custom room there are few things which comes in our mind one of them is whether basic functionalities are working fine or not how is the battery performance and things also like wide wine certification. So with no doubt, all the basic functionalities works perfectly fine. For example, calling, which includes Wi-Fi calling, Volti services. And also I did not find any kind of issues with the alert slider too. Bluetooth also seems to be working perfectly fine. But if you're looking for OnePlus stock camera that is not present on this room, by default, we do get to see the Lineage OS camera. But anytime you can install Google camera ported applications, if you want the Google camera application, you can join a telegram group where you can find all the Google camera links for your particular device. And guys, if you plan to install this custom room, you can find the installation guide on XDA forum. It's quite easy. I'll leave that link in the description below. So as I told you, basic functionalities don't have any kind of issues, including fingerprint unlock. Finger on display works perfectly fine and I did not notice any kind of delays too. None of the sensors have any kind of issues. For example, accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope, all of them gets the job done perfectly. Another few things which people are concerned about before flashing custom room and those are layered to payment services. So I have personally tested out Google Pay, Paytm and HDFC application. All these three applications did not had any kind of issues during my usage. So it's a good to go room if you are more concerned about the payment applications or payment services. One thing which is a concern for me on this particular build of CR Droid and that's the Widewind certification. By default, we have the Widewind certification of L3 and I did check out the applications like Netflix. So there you can only enjoy HD content instead of full HD. So this thing keep in mind before flashing. And when we talk about the battery backup, so here you can see the first screen on time which I got on this CR Droid wherein the screen on time is 3 hours and 31 minutes. And this is with my normal usage guys without gaming. And here with the battery segment, no complaint guys because this is a pretty old device and haven't replaced the battery yet. We get all the Android 13 features which you expect on any of the custom ROM but here theme icon feature is not in beta phase and theme icon also gets applied in the app drawer. In my usage most of the applications which are installed on my device do supports other than two which I have installed one is fresh walls and the second one is battlegrounds mobile India. Other than that almost every application do supports theme icon feature. This room not only provides you the latest android version but we do get a lot of customization options. There's a dedicated section called CR Droid settings, which gives you options to customize the status bar, quick setting tiles, lock screen, navigation, buttons, user interface, notification, sounds and some miscellaneous settings. There are few settings which I particularly liked on this room and I always wanted these settings to come on stock OS or you include any other custom room. One of them is adding the game space application which mostly were not found in the past but now the rooms whichever I have tried developers do add this application and after that we also have the ability to unlock higher FPS in games so if your device doesn't support 90 FPS if you enable this feature this spoofs your device as different model for specific games to unlock higher FPS. Though always remember, unlocking higher FPS will drain more battery and device will heat up more. Other than that, there are also few things like unlimited photo storage and another feature which I like the most and that's smart charging. If you guys want to keep your device battery healthy, then this option can come in handy. Smart charging will allow you to set maximum charging level to extend the lifespan of your battery. 
and other things like pocket detection and swipe up to take screenshot features do works fine. And I really appreciate developers for adding additional fingerprint icons and fingerprint animations. If you talk about this particular room, there are tons of fingerprint animations and fingerprint icons which you can choose between. All of them works perfectly fine with no issues. Gestures like double tap to wake and double tap to sleep did not had any kind of issues. Overall, it's a very stable room. I did not find any kind of issues during my usage. Some minor things which are required to be fixed and hopefully those things will be fixed in upcoming builds. Things like RAM management, smoothness, auto brightness are pretty much well optimized. And things which I told you like these are required some minor fixes. One of them is the fingerprint animation. The fingerprint animation do appears towards the top side of fingerprint position. And I feel this isn't accurate. If developers brings the animation a little bit down, then it would look pretty good. After that, while connecting the device to charging, the charging icon and the battery percentage appears exactly in the center. And it looks quite weird if we have enabled the large clock on the lock screen. And I also noticed a bit of more heating issues on this custom room during my usage. While charging also, I did notice a bit of heating issues. And if I start to play game, device temperature goes quite high. So these were some of the minor things. And one thing which I've already mentioned, and that's layer to Widewind certification. So guys, this was a quick look on CR Droid 9.0, which is based on Android 13. If you still have any kind of questions layer to this room, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also if you're new to a channel, then do not forget forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.